Hey everybody, happy Thursday. I am coming to you a day early this week. Um, I didn't mention it last week because I forgot that tomorrow is Good Friday. So I'm actually taking tomorrow off partially because uh, my kids will be home. So I bumped it back to today. So hopefully you guys can find me. If you are watching in the replay and you're mad because you thought I was going to be live on Friday, I'm sorry. Hello, I see you guys jumping on. I'm so glad. I tried to post several times. Hopefully everybody would see the change. Um, you know, Facebook isn't showing everybody everything. They used to show you everything in the groups that you belong to. That's why I switched from a business page to a group. Um, but now they're, you're not even seeing everything in your groups, unfortunately. So, hopefully, I see you guys hopefully saw it. All right, I'm going to share this. Let's see. Share. It's very quiet here today. The dogs are at the groomers. And um, let me tell you, <laughs> huge difference. It has been kind of nice um, to have some peace and quiet. I mean, I love them. Don't get me wrong, but boy, is it different. Charlie barks at everything, and it's so nice to not have him barking oh, at the wind, you know, at somebody driving by. Hello, hello, hello. It's good to see you guys. I'm so glad you're here today. So, like I mentioned just a minute ago, I'm going um, live a little early today, or actually early this week, because um, tomorrow's Good Friday. All right, let's go ahead and get started, because I might have to go pick up my daughter after this, so I cannot run super late today. <laughs> yeah, we're doing the snails today, um, the Snailed It Bundle. Um, this was one of my favorites when I first saw the catalog, and uh, it... Um, I used it a bunch in the beginning and then I kind of, I don't know, tapered off and I thought we haven't even done a Facebook Friday with this. So here we are. Okay. Thanks, Dina. I appreciate it. This is my shirt from spring break. I uh, got it. Where did, where were we? Moab? It's my Moab shirt. I like the color. You know, I always tend to wear black. I'll see my videos and I'm wearing black all the time. So I'm trying to branch out <laughs> with some color. Hello, everybody. Good to see you. Okay, first thing I want to tell you is that it's April 1st. I'm not going to play any April Fool's jokes on you, by the way. I'm not a jokester person. <laughs> so everything I'm telling you is real, I promise. I've seen so many April Fool's jokes today on Facebook, and I pretty much fall for all of them. Anyway, um, <laughs> today's April 1st, which means it's a new um, all-star tutorial bundle. Now, here is something weird that has happened this month. The All-Star Tutorial Bundle the, is all about the Flowering Cactus product medley. So is my class to go. I, For some reason, I didn't put the two together until it was too late. Um, so it's a little bit confusing. If you're buying PDFs from me, make sure you get the right one because this is the All-Star Tutorial Bundle featuring the Flowering Cactus, 12 projects, all of them video links. I only designed one. The other 11 were designed by, um, here's my project this month. The other projects were designed by other demonstrators. This is a great one um, if you subscribed. I emailed it out this morning, so if you didn't get it, make sure you tell me because sometimes they get they bounce back at me um, or they fly, fly around in cyberspace. So anyway, if you like the flowering cactus, this is a great one. Uh, my class to go, I'll show you in a second, is also a great one in my opinion. <laughs> so if you like the flowering cactus, you actually have two different PDFs that you could um, that you could borrow, that you could use. I almost said borrow. I'm trying to read comments and talk at the same time, and it's not possible. Two PDFs you can use for your flowering cactus um, product medley. This is free with a $50 purchase online. About once a week, I go through my orders and mail this out to everyone who has earned it for free. If you, um, ordered in March, I sent, I can't believe it's April. If you ordered in March, I sent you Marches. Yesterday, I sent an email out, um, and, um, with, the final orders for March. So if I missed you, let me know, because if you spent $50 with me in March, you should have gotten the other one, which was um, the hydrangea one, right? Free, every month it's a different one. Okay, I butchered that one. Anyway, here's my projects this month, my project this month that's in that PDF over there, okay? So that's that, you can get the PDF for free, it's not a class, right? Just the PDF. So then, 
The other thing that I have done is the Flowering Cactus class to go, and that's this one. This is actually going to be a fundraiser for the Alzheimer's Association. I do these about once a year. Um, I don't, maybe I did it twice a year, I can't remember. I was thinking about that. I was at the dentist today, just getting my teeth cleaned, and I get really, I don't know, anxious, and so I was trying to think of other things, and that was what I was thinking about, this fundraiser. And I was, I can't even remember. I think it was around September, the last one I did. So anyway, this is a fundraiser class to go. It's different than my other classes. This is a free with purchase class. The reason I'm doing it this way is because the kits come in a big box like this and it would cost you and I too much for me to order it and then mail it to you, which is just dumb. So we have cut out that middle part. You order the kit and I will mail you the class to go for free. And there's two options with this. So if you order the, the level one kit, which is the full product medley, it includes the stamps and dies. It also includes the full pack of paper and the adorable felt flowers and both bolts of twine. That's $70. If you order that and use the host code, then I send you the class to go for free, as well as a free bolt of the, and it's Mossy Meadow, by the way. It says old all over my blog, it's Mossy Meadow. I will send you a bolt of Mossy Meadow braided linen trim. Did I say it right? Braided linen trim for free with your class kit. Now, why I can hear you guys saying, I already have that, I already have it. I don't, I don't wanna order it again, but I want the class to go then you can order anything you want, as long as it is $70 before tax and shipping, and it uses the host code. There's a whole blog post yesterday that has the host code. The host code is very important for this class because that is the only way I will know who wants the class kits. Um, so you, you've got to make sure you use that host code. Um, let's see, what else was I gonna say? So you can order anything you want. Now there's a level two for this. Um, it is just the refill kit. If you've bought the whole kit already, you have the stamps and dies, then you can just buy the refill kit. The refill kit is uh, 36, 36, and it includes everything that I showed you, these three things, and not the stamps and dies. With that, you're still gonna get the class for free, but you've got to add on this too. You're gonna need this. Um, you only get this for free if you spend $70, okay? So you'll buy this and I'll still mail you the class to go for free. Again, you can order anything you want as long as you meet one of those two thresholds with that host code, okay? Please use the host code. I will not know to send you this class if you don't use the host code because I'm just gonna pull up that order and see everybody's name. The third part of this is the PDF. And you guys are so used to me having that PDF ready when I list the class that I've gotten like a dozen emails today. Where's the PDF? It's not ready. It's I'm done, but I have somebody proofread my PDFs because believe me, they need to be proofread. And she's working on it, okay? So I'm hoping by tomorrow. I just wanted to get this class listed before. the. I usually like to get it the last week of March and I was late designing the class. So the PDF is not ready. She and I have talked today, maybe tomorrow, okay? So fingers crossed, be patient. I will send an email out when the PDF is ready. PDF will be $15. Um, anyway, the, the class to go, I didn't even tell you about the projects, has a super cute little mini album. Um, it has a, a treat box inspired by Carla. And it has four beautiful cards, all right? And the PDF. And proceeds will be going to the Alzheimer's Association. If you don't know, my um, family has personal, um, <laughs> unfortunately, personal experience. Um, my father suffers from dementia um, and it's a cruel disease. And I just feel like this is one thing that I can do. You know, you feel kind of helpless. Um, but this is one thing that I can do. Um, I know lots of you have told me you have family members that have suffered from Alzheimer's and it is the worst. It is just awful. So anyhow, it's a fundraiser. Yay. I'm glad it makes me feel like, okay, at least I'm doing something because what else can you do? Okay. Now, um, the other thing for April, actually, there's two things for, two more things for April. 
Club Create for April is going to feature the Friends Are Like Seashells bundle. Um, five, no, four cards, one box. It is $39, including shipping. And you get 20, this month you're getting even, you're getting like $22 in product, um, along with your make and takes. Um, there's a video and a PDF. And let's see, what else do I tell you about that? $39, you have to subscribe by the 7th, which is next Friday, is that right? No, next Wednesday. So this is the last time that we'll talk about this. Next month's Club Create, May's Club Create, will feature something brand new from the brand new annual catalog. So stay tuned, I put my pre-order in early this morning and I'm gonna hopefully have all that designed by, by midweek next week so I can tell you guys what it is, okay? So anyway, if you want to get the Sand and Sea Club Create, make sure you have subscribed by the 7th of this month, okay? Um, another thing that I'm doing, I decided to add in just a bonus class and I'm going to do a class that features the, I thought I brought them over here. Nope. The Dragonfly Garden, um, bundle right here and this, a touch of ink. Do you guys remember this from Celebration? This was a level two and like the host sets, I have a bunch of these. I have more of these in the host set. So I'm using this in conjunction with this to design a card class. It's gonna be eight cards um, and it's gonna be awesome. So stay tuned for that. Those details, I'm not done. I've got one more card to design and then we've got the PDF to deal with. So coming next week, okay? A bonus class for April. All right, um, I think all we have left is door prizes. So why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? I don't know. Let me turn you guys around. So you guys know that the new annual catalog is coming out on uh, May 3rd. So that means our current annual catalog right now is retiring, right? There we go, okay. Um, and here it is, it's retiring. We talked about marking the things that are retiring. There are some things that have sold out already, um, but, but majority is still there. So make sure you have shopped that list. There are some things that are super discounted. Yesterday, I noticed that these dies right here, special day dies, the ones that we used last week for the grass, um, it, has, it goes with a cute raccoon set. They're like $7 right now. The whole die set, $7. So some of the things are super duper cheap. So make sure you check those out. So then in comes the new catalog, right? And I don't have mine yet. I'm waiting, <laughs> but I've seen it online and it's gorgeous. And if you want access to the new catalog early, um, before May 3rd, you can order from the selected pre-order items from the new annual catalog in a starter kit in May. No, I'm sorry, April. So right now, somebody, uh, Karen this morning bought the starter kit and took advantage of that. So if you would like to order from the new catalog, next week I'll have it so I can show you the outside of it. Um, but keep that in mind, starter kit is $99. You get $125 in product um, and free shipping. And a ton of perks, right? Um, Sue, you got your new catalog today? Uh, yeah. Um, Ellen, can you explain the retiring from the spring catalog? So, Ellen, the spring catalog goes until June 30th. So, nothing, we're not considering anything in here retired until um, the end of May, really, the month of June. So, right now, this is all current and will remain all current until June 30th. Um, and so we, we, can, we can, as demonstrators, we can kind of assume what's retiring. If it's not in the main catalog from here, then we assume that it's retiring. So I'm, I'm not even going there yet because that's too much for my brain to process um, because we still have April, May, June, three months of this catalog. So I'm not even thinking about that. Um, we're going to take full advantage of that catalog because it's a great one. Three months. That's crazy, right? April, May, and June. Is that right? June 30th. We've changed up the dates, you guys know, and I'm still super confused. Yeah, June 30th. Wow, three more months. Yeah, that's great. Okay, winners. My winners from last week for sharing the video are Mary Alice and Mary Alice Chobra and Samantha Brothers Jennings. Mary Alice is in my 
uh, down line. So Mary Alice, I have your mailing address. And Samantha, I do not believe I have yours. So please message or email me so that I can mail you your prizes. Thank you so much for sharing my video. I do greatly appreciate that. And look what I have here for this week. Friends are like seashells. My Club Create for April features this bundle. So look, here it is. I've got two of them. All you have to do to be entered to win is share on Facebook. And I will pick two um, winners next week, okay? All right, let me put that up there. And let's move some things around. What, I sound like a what? A Dalek, Sarah? I don't know what that is. Is that bad? <laughs> don't tell me if it's bad. I don't want to know. Okay, this week for Facebook Friday, aka Facebook Thursday, we're doing Snailed It, the super cute bundle from that spring catalog. I think in my mind I was thinking of it Valentine's related because the paper that's with it is like pink and red, right? So I used it a bunch in January with my team and some other things. But for some reason, I, I don't know, in my mind, I was thinking it was Valentine's, maybe because it has those hearts. But it's not Valentine's at all, really. So we're going to play with it today. I've changed up the color scheme to give us some bright, bold colors. Um, if you have never joined me for Facebook Friday, um, we do, I always, well, I typically pick a bundle or a stamp set and we do three projects with it um and then you have if you want them as make and takes um all you have to do is put in an order by monday at midnight um that is 35 dollars and uses this host code all right let's see i need to go down further huh it's see there's like a 10 second delay so it takes me a while to figure this out let's see i think that's in the screen um, so here's the host code. Also, you can jump over to pinkbuckroo.com. There's a button under the last photo that has the free PDF. It has everything that I'm using today, in case you're wondering, as well as those measurements. And it has the host code that you need for this week's free make and takes. It has information about the Cactus Class to Go, Sand and Sea Club, uh, Club Create Projects, the Flowering Cactus All-Star Bundle, and the retiring and the new catalog, okay? N not the new catalog, the starter kit new catalog. <laughs> Don't think you can click on that link and find the new catalog. You can't, we're not allowed to share it yet. Um, but anyway, all that's there, this is free, grab it, it's a resource for you. And this is what the make and takes look like when they come to you, they are free. Yeah, free, I ship them for free. You need the stamps and dies, so this week you will need this bundle, as well as any inks that I use. Um, we're also using a blending brush and a mask day. Obviously, you'll need that as well. Um, but I cut, score, punch, um, all the other things. I include any embellishments that are needed. I had to make you a little thank you tag every time. All righty. So that's what the deal is. And I think we're ready to stamp. All right. Let's see. What have I missed? Have I missed? Oh, my comments weren't even scrolling. Um, let's see. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, tell me if you shared. That way I know. Um, yeah, Carla, the paper pumpkin that coordinated with the snails was Valentine's. Maybe that's why my um, brain thinks that too. Um, celebration. Um, Mary Ellen, I did a class with the Celebration Punch Party stamp set, but I only had a selection of those, like, like I don't know, 20 or something of those stamp sets, so I only did that many kits. But the PDF is available in my PDF store. And you can find that linked at the top of my blog if you're looking for that. All right, here we go. We are going to do two cards, whoa, two cards and a, I knew I was gonna trip on that. I have a cord sticking out. Two cards and a box. I'm saving the box to the, left, to the end because I can't wait to show you what's inside. Now this card may look familiar because Two weeks ago, my fourth kangaroo project was this card. And I got lots of questions about it. Um, so I thought, you know, I, this is really something I should do a video of. So instead of just doing a video of the same card, I've recreated it with the snails. So we're gonna make this card with the cute little snails, all right? All righty, let's see. Let me get everything out. 
We are going to start with the three smallest circle dies, okay? The three smallest circle dies. Um, and a piece of basic white that is four by five and a fourth. All right, look at my new plates. Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> Nice and shiny. I've used them a couple times. You know, I, I get these new plates and I say, you know, I'm going to only use these for Facebook Live. And then I use them all, all week and they're trash. So I should set these aside when I'm done today. Okay, so I'm arranging these so that the smallest one is over here, the larger one is down here, and then the medium one is up here. You need to leave room right here about an inch um, for that rainbow okay all right so we're gonna cut whoops that's okay that works we're gonna cut those out new plates i actually ordered three packs of new plates last time because well you guys know i use them a ton but i when i need them i never have them and then i have to wait so i thought you know i'm gonna be prepared i'm going to be prepared okay so we're gonna set this aside we're gonna save this one right here because we need to, I forgot to do this on the video that I recorded. I always have clean recordings for you guys so that when you come back to make yours, you don't have to listen to all the Facebook live chit chat. So over on my YouTube channel and on my blog today, you'll see the uh, links to the clean recordings. But I forgot to stamp this part on that clean recording. I'm using one of these circles that we punched just as a scrap, all right? So I'm gonna stamp the speech bubble. I'm gonna stamp the small snail. And we're only gonna use the snail. We're not gonna use the words or the envelope. Oh, my camera's shaking, I'm gonna turn the fan down. Um, and it's fine because if you look and see, we're gonna just cut off those things and it'll be fine because they're peeking out. Don't, don't stress over it. If you wanna mask off, mask off you can and then those things won't stamp but I just felt like it was kind of un unnecessary okay now I didn't want all of my snails facing the same direction so we're going to do reverse stamping with this this little guy okay so you're going to need your stamparatus hopefully you guys have listened to me and ordered that stamparatus it is my favorite thing needed nothing on the magnetic no you know i didn't even look in the new catalog either for those quite honestly i haven't made it through the new catalog all the way to the end um i just haven't had time so i don't know i don't know all right so to reverse stamp we're going to use our silicone sheet I, I really should clean it let me move it you can see all the other things that i've stamped um silicone uh sheet you can get this in our catalog it's like six bucks put that on there put your snail down here and we're going to stamp it right onto the silicone mat okay they are not in the new catalog teresa interesting huh yeah, they had problems and stamping up, you know, they took their quality control seriously. Now, you've got it here. Lay your paper down onto it and put that magnet down and then set this back down so that when we're done, we can flip it over and we can use the magnet to cut it out, even though we're coloring this side. See, there he is backwards. Okay, that makes sense. Do I need this one? No, I don't need this one again, so we'll leave it on there. Reverse stamping, I love it. It's an easy technique. All right, let's start with Mama. I call her Mama. She looks like the Mama to me. Um, she has eyelashes too, so she's, is this light? This is dark, gotta start with light. She has eyelashes, so she is definitely a she, that is for sure, although it looks, now it's gonna look like I gave her a mustache because I started with my dark. I'm gonna just color her full coat of light granny apple green. Yesterday when I filmed these clean recordings, my granny apple green and my Highland Heather markers were pretty much dry. 
Luckily, I had backups. All right, now I'm gonna take my dark and I'm gonna give her a shadow around this side. See where those little dots are? Like that. And then go back with your light and kind of blend it all together. Our blends are so great, you won't see any of your marker lines. There we go. I have such a hard time coloring when I'm standing up. I should sit down when I color. Okay, so now let's see what color. Let's do Melon Mambo. Oh, good. Tisha, you need to try it. It's fun. I have tried it with some um, stamps that were solid and they didn't work very well. So I prefer to only do it with black line stamps that are kind of open images, but you should play around with it and see. All right, so just a fresh coat of Melon Mambo all over the shell. And then this time I'm gonna take the dark and I'm gonna go around the outside of that line. That's gonna make kind of a shadow there, that shell and just go down a little bit right here, kind of creating a shadow. And then I'm gonna color those stripes. Now I'm not gonna color the presents because we're gonna cut them off. Okay, while I have, while I have my Melon Mambo out, let's switch over to this guy. And we're gonna do his body, Melon Mambo. So again, with your light, I'm using the brush tip, but I have to be careful because I get out of the lines really easily with my brush tip. Which do you guys prefer when you're using your blends? Do you like the brush tip or do you prefer the bullet like me? When I'm doing big spaces, I definitely like that brush tip. And when I'm trying to go fast like I am now, I use the brush tip. All right, so I added that shadow with the dark, we're gonna blend it all together with a light. I'm gonna come over here for this guy and give him a, a Melon Mambo shell as well. It's so, so weird that my dogs aren't here. They're at the groomers. It's so nice. I went to the dentist this morning and when I came back, nobody attacked me when I came in the door, nobody was jumping on me which I know that's part of the fun, right? But sometimes it's nice. I really like the quiet. <laughs> they're, they're traumatized when they go to the groomers. My husband took them this morning and then sent me a video in the car. They were all crying. Such babies. They're schnauzers. They have to get used to it. I mean, the old guys are 11. By now they should be used to it. All right. And yes, I have groomed them, groomed Pepper myself a few times. This is dark. No, this is light. Um, but I can't do all the close-up stuff on her face. It scares me. Have any of you groom your dogs? Your own groom your own dogs? Sure does save money. Okay, so I'm seeing bullet tip. All right, I'm gonna come down here. This is Highland Heather. I don't know if I mentioned that. Maybe, maybe not. Talking about my dogs. I got a clean bill of health out of the dentist. No cavities, whoop whoop. I don't know if I have any teeth left that space for cavities. <laughs> I have bad teeth, you guys. Bad teeth. It's not fun. It's genetic, my mom tells me. All right, little outline, there we go. And we're done. Okay, so the three colors were Granny Apple, Highland Heather, and Melon Mambo. Now let's get our little speech bubble, I forgot. We're gonna, we're gonna stamp the hello right in the middle. And I can close my ink pad up. Um, if you're having trouble sharing the video, it might be because you haven't joined my group and you might be watching on my page. So make sure you click on the Pink Buckaroo Stampers group name 
and join. And then when I'm done here, I will approve you. And then you'll be able to share. All right, let's line these guys up. Don't you love it when I don't make you fussy cut? I know, I know you do. Oh my gosh, Joanne, every five weeks, whew. You know, Pepper probably should go to the groomer every five weeks. Her hair grows super fast, way faster than the boys. Um, so I, I take them every two months and I do her twice in between. It's crazy. And the boys, they only need to go every two, two and a half months. But every five weeks, that's a lot. Does she freak out? Does she hate it? She's never gotten used to going. She shakes every time. <laughs> Doesn't it make you feel bad? I'm like, oh. But, you know, hey, sorry. You're a shih tzu. You gotta go. Okay. Now, remember, we did reverse stamping. So if I go and I try to put the die on there, it's not going to match. But remember, we laid down that plate and stamped it on the back, too. So we can turn it over to the back and cut it out that way. Kimberly, you don't like to fussy cut. I know lots of you don't. I like to fussy cut. I don't know why I'm weird. And I know some of you like it too. I think you either love it or you hate it. All right, so there we go. See, we cut it out like that, but we're gonna use that other side. All right, now let me move this. So let's do some surgery on them. We're gonna cut off the envelope. And I guess I'm making you do a little bit of fussy cutting here. But don't worry, because we're putting them, we're backing them on white cardstock, it doesn't really matter. So we're just cutting off the, the little envelopes, which are super cute. And I realized I didn't even use the cutest part of this, the die set for e any of the projects, which is a little envelope that folds up. But I do have a bonus card for you on Monday that uses it. It's really cute. All right, there. And now the mama. Let's trim off her presents. Just the, I think the trick when you're fussy cutting is to go slow and to stay outside of that black line. Okay, so now let's line them up in here and I'm gonna get dimensionals. I'm gonna put one right here and I'm gonna lay this down right there on top of her. Now this guy, where do I have him? I guess I have him up here on the sample, so we'll just stick with it, what we did. All right, so we'll put him like that. And last but not least, our little, our little reverse guy. Let's see, we need to put the dimensional down here and lay it down and pick him up. Okay, now if he sticks out, just trim him off. Okay, so there, now we've got that part. Um, we're gonna put this on here in a minute, but let's make our rainbow strip. This is my favorite part of this card. Um, I have cut out, let me tell you all my colors, a half inch strip of Melon Mambo, um, Mango, Melody, Daffodil Delight, Granny Apple Green, of course, uh, Coastal Cabana, Bermuda Bay, and Highland Heather. I've also cut out a three quarter inch by five and a fourth basic white. And I'm gonna put just some adhesive all the way down. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go from the top, I'm gonna go in rainbow order. And you could really do any colors if you are going with a color scheme. You know, you could use just three colors. You could do the primary rainbow, nope. Red, orange, yeah, that's right. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Do you guys know that song? That is the rainbow song, and I was a kindergarten teacher and a first grade teacher, and it was one of the things we taught in science. So I always sing the song. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. All right. <laughs> you didn't know you are getting a music lesson today. Uh, yeah, you are. All right, Coastal Cabana. Bermuda Bay, and don't worry, I know they're not straight. Don't worry, 
Gotcha. All right, now take your scissors, just cut them off and start over. Melon Mambo, Mango Melody, Daffodil Delight. And we've got just a tiny little strip right there of white. I'm just gonna cut that off. Okay, now let's get the trimmer. And you're just gonna cut those off right along that edge. So line it up in your trimmer, if I can get it lined up right. And cut it off. You know what, I didn't get close enough, let's see. Let's try that again. I may have to get my uh, my other one out to get that straight. There, that one I did it. All right, let me get this. I am just a guillotine girl. I like using a guillotine. There we go. All right, now there's your rainbow. I have also already, look, I got my trash can. So I don't have to sweep it off onto the floor. Um, I have cut a basic white stitched scallop border. This is from the Be Mine Stitch Dies, which if you know me, I use these dies pretty much <laughs> in every project and they are retiring. I'm so sad, but the good news is there is a um, new set of dies that has a stitch scallop border. So it'll be like nothing has changed. I will still use it constantly. All right, um, glue it on or adhere it on to your, you know, what the world, man? My, everything's off today. Look, it's short. That's all right. We'll just trim it down. No worries. Okay, and we're gonna have to trim this one down too. Now, I've got a, another piece of basic white that is the same size as my first one. And we're gonna put dimensionals on here. Remember, we put the um, snails on with dimensionals. So we gotta, we've got to continue that on. Yeah, look, that piece was just too big. That was the problem. Because this one is right. There we go, it's looking cute. Now let's get our basic white twine. This is from the Snailed Twine Pack. I've been using it with everything else. Um, there is a new pack of twine coming in the annual catalog that has five colors of twine in it. All the basics, I'm very excited about that. All right, now I've tied a knot and I'm gonna get my heart, what are they called? Heart charms. I always call them heart trinkets. The heart charms. And slide that, get it to where you want it, and then tie your bow. Like this. Oh, nope, come on, stay. <laughs> stay where you are, little heart. There we go. Oh, he moved again. There, stay, oh my gosh, just like my kids, not listening. All right, tighten up that bow. And your charm may be rogue like mine. There we go, I'm gonna turn it. That'll work, goodness. Everybody keep your fingers crossed that I don't lose any dies today, because you know, that's how it goes around here. Okay, last but not least, all you have to do is put this on a, oh, no, that's not last but not least, isn't it? I forgot. I don't know why I keep forgetting the speech bubble. First, let's put our speech bubble right here. The speech bubble is really good with other things too. I've used it with some other things. Hello. Mm like that. Now, last but not least, put it on your Melon Mambo card base. 
And there it is. So cute. Look, these would be cute birthday invitations when they look all like in, like that in a row. So stinking cute. Looks like maybe this one was magenta. Look, here's a comparison. Magenta and Melon Mambo. The kangaroo is magenta. All righty. What do you guys think? So again, change that to whatever you need it to be. If it doesn't fit in the speech bubble, then just, you know, like cut it apart and put it on here with dimensionals or stamp it on the inside. Okay. All righty. Project number one. We are done. Let's move on to our second card, which is, oh, you guys, you forgot to tell me that I forgot the hearts. I'm trying to rush. These little hearts are so, this is so cute. How could I forget this? Look, I cut out three hearts, melon mambo hearts. The little heart die is in this snail dies. And we're just gonna put them in there because you know, I'm just never done. I have to add just one more thing, one more thing. Aren't they cute? Hello. And you can, this one is kind of big for this circle. So we'll just have it kind of peeking out. And this one goes right there. Um, you know, I saw some, I've seen some things there. Now we are done. I've seen some things, uh, real cute things with Snail Knit on Pinterest that use um, more muted tones like a soft pink and gray. And I thought that was really a pretty color scheme as well for for this set. So you might wanna look around to get some more ideas. I've told you guys before, I always get stuck with whatever's in the catalog. If it has paper that, like uh, pattern paper that goes with it, then I'm stuck in that color scheme. It's very hard for me to think outside of that color scheme. Um, and then when I see it in a different color scheme, I'm like, oh my gosh, look at it. It looks totally different. So, you know, try to push yourself out of those colors, which is what I kind of did here using different, not the red and uh, Berm or real red and Bermuda Bay. Actually, is it real red? Yeah, real red and Bermuda Bay. This time we're going purple. And instead of using Stampin' Blends, I thought, you know, I really need to show them another way to color this. So we're gonna use watercolor pencils. And for some reason, my yellow watercolor pencil it's getting down really short and it keeps breaking and that's all I have left. <laughs> so that's why I use the small part for yellow. Okay, so these are the watercolor pencils. They come in two assortments. There's watercolor pencils, which was the first set we got, and then they added in more colors and that's watercolor pencil assortment two. So I, I believe I'm using colors from both. And because we're gonna watercolor, we've got to use a different ink. Um, this is stays on, and it will not run when it gets wet. But if you use this with your blends, it will bleed and smear and look gross, okay? So stays on for watercoloring, memento for blends. All right, now, this is a water painter. You guys seen our new water painters? They come in three sizes. Um, this is the skinniest one. I'm gonna start with a gorgeous great pencil. And I did stamp it on watercolor paper, which reminds me, I need to order some more watercolor paper so I have enough. I think I have enough for next week when I cut make and takes for you guys. But then I'll be out. I need to add that to my list. Do you guys have a list? like a shop, a grocery list for your Stampin' Up! supplies? I do. Luckily, I put in lots of orders for classes, for customers, so I can always add things on. Okay, gorgeous, great. So when you color it with your pencil, it's gonna look like you're in third grade and you colored your map, remember? But the magic happens when you add water. It turns it into like a watercolor and you can move it around really easily. Um, using a colored pencil is less messy. You have more control than if you watercolor traditionally with our ink pads. 
So if you're intimidated by watercoloring, I suggest you give the watercolor pencils a try. You can also use our blender pens. Uh, not, not to be confused with the Stampin' Blends, but there's a blender pen that we've had for many, 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 many years, which is like a marker with a clear solvent in it that will do kind of the same thing. Um, the aqua, no, not, it's not called aqua paint anymore. The water painter, you fill with water, but the, let me see, do I have one? The blender pen, here's one, already comes filled with like a solvent. This is what they look like. And they do eventually dry up, but they are cheaper. So I don't know, you just have to decide. I like them both for different reasons, but honestly, I don't really use this for very much. I use these more. Now, when it's still wet, you can add color and it'll kind of turn that pencil more vivid when it's wet. Okay, so you can add in that shadow, go back, blend that in with your water. Now I need to do more and more. See, I never know when to stop. I never know. I just keep going and going. Watercolors will dry light, lighter, and it, lighter than a stamp and blend. Um, and if you want it vivid and bright, like I always do, then let it dry and do it again. So you'll add several layers and you'll get a darker look. All right, I really want that to dry and for me to do it again because I don't like that texture right there, but we don't have time for that. So we're gonna leave it. Okay, now run it clean on a paper towel and we're gonna do the her shell in Granny Apple. I love Granny Apple and Gorgeous Grape together. It's a good color combo for sure. All right, make sure you don't have any more purple on your brush and then move all that ink around or that, you call it ink, what do you call it when it comes from watercolor pencil? Move all that color, that I'll call it a color. <laughs> move all the color around. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back while it's still wet and add in that shadow line right there around like that. Give it a little bit of shadow down here like that. Okay, now we're gonna switch to this yellow. Do the big present. This is Daffodil Delight. Run your, your painter clean. Blend it all together. And then we're gonna finish off with a little more gorgeous grape. All right, so just another way to color, you guys. I know I always use Stampin' Blends, but I just want you to know that there are other ways too. All right, now let's make this card front. I love this card front. And I know, I can hear it already, you're saying, Erica, those are unorderable, those blending brushes. I know they are, but they're coming back soon. And they're going to be in the new catalog. So don't worry. You will get yours eventually. <laughs> they're coming. All right. We're going to use a basic mask. And we need some grid paper. I'm going to fold it because I've run out of room. Call it pigment, Ellen. Pigment. I should know that. Okay, now I'm going to just put a little bit of adhesive on the back of this and stick it down. And I'm using the lines of my grid paper to make it straight. And then I'm going to take my mask and I'm also going to use those grid lines to make it straight. And then how about some post-it tape? Love post-it tape. If you haven't seen post-it tape, it is tape that is like a post-it note except it's all sticky. And I have it linked on my blog. At the top of my blog, I have a tab that 
says Amazon favorites because I use a lot of things from Amazon. So you can find the link there if you want. All right, Gorgeous Grape on Gorgeous Grape cardstock. And these are our new blending brushes. You get three of them for $12. And like I said, they're unorderable right now, but I know lots of you have already gotten them. I've given lots of them away. Um, it says, the inventory status report says April 12th. It did say April 6th. And now it says April 12th. So I don't know if it was stuck in the Suez Canal <laughs> or what, but it'll be here. It will be here. Did you guys see that? I'm sure. I'm sure you saw it. That giant ship that was stuck in the Suez Canal. Um, I was like obsessed. There was a website called istheshipstillstuck.com. <laughs> <laughs> because why not, right? And I was checking it. I was checking, checking, checking. Just because I thought it was hilarious. I'm sure they didn't think it was hilarious, but I thought it was hilarious. Okay, now be careful, right? Because this is what's going to happen to your hands. Because there's ink all over that mask. There it is. Okay. Let's move this out of the way. And we're going to cut this down to, I'm going to use my little one. No, let me use my big one. Um, I'm going to cut this down to, this was a four by five and a fourth inch piece. And I'm going to cut it down to two inches and then two one inch strips. Okay, so two and one and one. This one in the middle, we're going to save. I didn't even show you the inside yet. We're going to use that on the inside. I think the inside of this card is almost cuter than the outside. All right, so now we've got a Highland Heather card base. This is just a full sheet of cardstock cut in half, scored in the middle. Sarah, I wondered about... Um, <laughs> I wondered about those people, all of you over in the UK and um, Europe, because I thought, I bet they're stamping up products in there that are going to the UK. Maybe not on the Ever Given or whatever the ship's name was, but probably in the other ships. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I know, it's ridiculous. Okay, I've taken the one inch strip and I've just placed it where it's going to be and I put that little line there. That way I know where to line these up. And then this one's gonna go right here. And I'm just gonna do a really light line, okay? So now I'm gonna take this stamp. Ooh, look at that block, it's disgusting. Um, and this is where it's from, Circle Celebration. Yes, I know, we talked about cleaning blocks last week. Did I do it? I did not. All right, I'm going to stamp this little foliage piece about three times like that, okay, with gorgeous grape ink. And then let's get out our big foam adhesive sheets because I love using these. And we're going to put this... Look at that. Don't you love it? <laughs> I love them. The big foam adhesive sheets. All right, so now I'm gonna adhere this with those dimensionals like that. And then we're gonna do the other one in the same manner. Okay, like that. All right, so we've got like a ditch card, a ditch or a gutter. I don't know, you tell me, is it a ditch or a gutter right here? Either one. All right, is that straight? I can't tell. Yeah, I think it is. This is throwing me off. Okay, we're leaving it. All right, now let's go back to our little, our little snail, and we're gonna cut him out. Let me make all this clean. Thanks, Joyce. Hey, Belinda. Thank you. All righty. 
So do you guys have tomorrow off? The kids have tomorrow off for Good Friday. And uh, my husband doesn't have a day off, but my kids do. And I knew that tomorrow would be crazy around here. And it would be better to do Facebook Live on the Thursday rather than during the Madhouse. That will be tomorrow. Now, this little cute, super cute postage stamp die is also in the snail set right here. This is a great little die, and it cuts beautifully. It cuts through two layers, no problem, um, if you need to cut multiples <laughs> like me. All right, I'm going to put him or her. We've decided it's a her, right, because she's got eyelashes right there in the middle. And then we're gonna straddle the gutter or the ditch. <laughs> Joyce, she says, I'm old, I'm off every day. Lucky you. All right, so two dimensionals, one on either side. And then, hey, remember these, the hydrangea pearls, except that's not what they're called. They're called pastel pearls and they're carrying over to the new catalog. Yay, I love them. So I'm just gonna put a few like that. I think that'll be good. Three, we'll stay with three. Now, no sentiment, right? Okay, hold on, we're gonna put it on the inside. Let me show you what we're gonna to do to the inside. I don't know what that piece is for. Um, so a piece of basic white that is four by five and a fourth. We're gonna put that on the inside. Then remember that piece that we cut off of the other piece? We're gonna put that right here. And I've, I've cut out a heart from, once again, the Be Mine stitched heart dies that the scalloped border was from. Now look at this. See this little shape right here? This is from this die, the Messages die. I haven't used it one time, I don't know why. It's got all these adorable, cute little shapes. So you can run it through your basic white and then just leave them like in a little bowl on your desk and then you can just pull from them for all your card making. They're so cute, I don't know why I haven't used them yet. But this is the one that I cut right here. I'm gonna have a fun time cutting for y'all's make and takes though <laughs> with that. It'll be interesting, but maybe I should cut them all out, then I will just have a bunch. I think I'll do that. Okay, snailed it. You snailed it. Right there in Granny Apple. I love this little shape, this little die cut. Very cute. You like it too, Catherine? It is so cute. You know what else I really like? Is this long skinny banner. The long and skinny. I do a lot of long and skinnies. And that, that looks like that punch the classic label punch, and it's retiring. So now we know, look, it's right there. We can use that one. Okay, let's get a dimensional and I'm out. And we're gonna put that right there. And then we are done. Look, isn't that cute? The inside is so cute. All right, there is card number two. I still wanna go back and fix him. I didn't he needs to be colored and watered a little bit more. All right, you guys. We're down to the last project. Let me clean up. And did I? I did tell you that that was from Circle Celebration, didn't I? I like that stamp set a lot. Okay, let's move this. Now, I was teasing you guys with a little sneak peek of this box. And I did not tell you what was on the inside because I wanted you to come see. I did a lot of digging around trying to find treats, snacks, something to go with the snail. Um, I did not find very much. Um, but I happened to find randomly on Amazon these little snails that are correction tape, you know, like white out tape. They're a little bit hard to open at the beginning. I don't know why. I'm scared I'm going to break it. There we go. Look. So, you know, like a whiteout correction. Aren't they cute? They come in a pack of four and they came in, um, this one has purple. Nope, this one has yellow. 
and let's see this we've got purple and like calypso look aren't they cute um i have linked them on today's blog post in case you want to buy them um i'm going to put them in the girls easter baskets because they're so cute and i designed them to kind of match the purple and yellow ones but you know you could change the colors to match the snail they're real cute i can't remember how much they were they were not very expensive i don't think these would make great little teacher gifts, wouldn't they? Teacher appreciation or just a little treat like thinking of you or whatever. All right, so we're going to need, I need to look at my paper so I can tell you the measurements. What time is it? Uh oh, it's three o'clock. Okay, I got to hurry. Um, we're going to use Daffodil Delight. And you're going to need a piece that is seven and a half by five and a half. And we're gonna score the long side at one, at two and three eighths, four and three eighths, and five and three fourths. Then turn it and score at one and three eighths, and four and one eighth. Okay. Now we're gonna do a little trimming. And I have lost my bone folder. I don't know what happened to it. First, we're going to cut out these corners. These are, this is the one inch section that we scored first. So we're gonna cut out these corners. Then, starting on the other side, we're gonna cut the tabs, those little squares, and then cut the corners off of them. Okay, so cut a little sliver. Then flip it around and do the same thing like that. Now, these right here, if you cut them here, then that means that it'll be attached here, which you could do if you want, but I wanted them attached on the inside like this. So you need to turn it this way and cut them coming from this way. And then I'm gonna cut them in half and cut the corners, okay? Cut them in half and cut the corners. All right, so that's what your piece looks like. Now I've got my detailed trio punch and we're gonna round that end. Then we're gonna stamp it with this polka dot. And this polka dot is, where did I put that other tray? This other po this polka dot came out of this stamp right here. So, so don't throw it away, save it, and you can use it as a polka dot. It's so cute. So then I'm just gonna, you know, do random polka dots. I'm gonna do it here on the top. I'm gonna do the sides. You can do the whole thing, but for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna do that side and this side. Daffodil Delight ink on Daffodil Delight cardstock. It's super duper cute. And I love polka dots. Okay. Almost there. There we go. All right, now, get your bone folder. I gotta find mine. I bet it fell down behind. Burnish all your things, all your lines. Patricia, you ordered the snails. They are cute. They are, they're different, right? It's like we've never done anything like that. It's not your traditional kind of gift. Okay, now, some Tombow. I'm gonna do the outside of these center tabs and I'm gonna fold them in to the back side like that, okay? make sure we're square nope we're not square there we go I gotta make sure that the edge of this touches the table all right a little bit of Tombow here and fold over like so okay now I recommend you get some clothespins and just clip it down. It's gonna hold all of that in place while it dries. 
Now let's make the little tag. This time I'm using the mushroom stamp. I really challenged myself to use the mushroom stamp because I feel like I only wanted to use the snails. You know, it was just snail, snail, snail. But I, I thought, this is so cute. These little mushrooms are cute. And since we have snails on the inside, we can do mushrooms on the outside. All right, memento black on a white tag that was cut with the tasteful label dies. And we're gonna color it using kind of the same colors. We're gonna do light Highland Heather first. <laughs> Karen, she probably will. She's, Pepper has been very bad this week. I don't know what's going on with her. She's just been wild. And I even walked her, I did her walk three miles yesterday and she was still crazy tearing things up. She was, she got a piece of silver foil cardstock off my floor and took it in the living room and just chewed it all up, which is fine. It just, she's not usually like that. And she, Ellie had brought home um, the palm from Palm Sunday and she found it and shredded it. She was bored for some reason this week. She misses Millie. She needs to go to my mom's house, play with Millie. All right, now I'm doing the dark there. I'm gonna take the dark and run it under the rim there to give it a shadow. And then just kind of adding some dark diagonally like that. For the shadow, go back with your light and blend it in. I want this all to be a little bit darker, so I'm just gonna go over it one more time. Okay. Now we're gonna use Granny Apple Green again on these skinny mushrooms, these tall skinny mushrooms. I see some of you saying, oh, did I do dark? This is dark, darn, I did, this is dark. All right, well, we can make it work. I see some of you saying that it's snowing where you are. That's no fun. It's too late in the year for all that business. I know you guys up north are so ready for spring. That's not fun. It is a gorgeous day here. I'm sorry. Y'all can rub it in in September when it's a gorgeous day there and it's a thousand degrees here. All right, so I'm gonna go back over with dark just to give it some dimension. And then this one, since I didn't mess this one up, I'm gonna add a little bit of dark shadow there. You know, put a little bit of dark down here with the grass too. And let's see, now we're just gonna go with the Daffodil Delight. Color these guys in. Patricia, how much were those um, snails? You said you already bought them, didn't you? Wasn't it Patricia who said it? No snow in Florida. Ooh, Florida's nice. We're thinking about Florida for our summer vacation. It's Ellie's graduation trip, and we were gonna do something really big this year, but you know, you know. Okay, I forgot this stamp over here, we need it. All right, now, do, 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 where did my chamois? Let me clean this real quick. I'm using this little hello. You could go through your other stamps if you didn't want to put hello, like thanks or happy birthday. You'd need something kind of small. Okay. All right. Let's bring it back over. Put our little snail in. And this, I've got something weird sticking out right there. This is designed to go on the outside and for this to, you know, to slide behind this. So we're gonna put some dimensionals down here and I'm gonna use three to make it nice and strong so it won't pop off. Um, Prime members, $9.99, yeah, see four of them, right? For $9.99 and then free shipping. I think that's pretty good. All right, so there. Now you can see you slide this behind like that. All right, now I've cut these two little stems out. You could use any stems you want. These are from the Wrapped Flowers dies. I haven't used that stamp set at all. 
and I love it. It's wrapped flowers dies in the spring catalog. All right, so we'll just put those there. And then last but not least, let's do a double bow. Fold your twine in half and tie your bow. All right, snip, snip, and a glue dot. Um, yes, I am going to Hawaii. Um, Jill, thank you for asking. Um, Hawaii is May 15th. Yes, very exciting. Fingers crossed. You have to take a COVID test 72 hours before you get on the plane. I <sighs> know, it's a little scary. Um, we have actually already gotten our vaccinations. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. But... You just never know, right? You never know. I'm hoping they'll change it and say that anybody vaccinated doesn't need to get a COVID test. <laughs> Fingers crossed. I don't know. Okay, you guys. Here we go. The cute little box. Now you know what's inside. The rainbow card and the purple card. I hope you guys liked today's projects. They were really fun. Bright and springy. Remember, I'll send you the make and takes, the project kits. Um, one of this, one of this, and one of this, um, and it'll be free uh, if you put in an online order by Monday at midnight, and you have to use this host code. If your order is over $150, don't use the host code. You'll get more, um, you'll get stamping rewards, and um, I cut them on Tuesday morning, so don't be late, and then I ship them on Wednesday morning. All right, you guys, hey, when I just have to say, Debbie, you said the test isn't bad. Well, Hmm. It's not what I've heard. I want the one that doesn't go all the way up. <laughs> Can I choose? Oh, all right, you guys. Thank you so much. You guys be safe this week. Um, happy Easter to all of you. I hope that you get to do something fun and spend some time with your family. And next week, we'll be back to Fridays, okay? Thanks, everybody. Bye.